Welcome back everyone. Wade Boggs fan here with another video. Before I get into the mail day uh, part of the video, just wanted to give uh, an update again. I have 13 entries, I believe so far for the 250 subscriber contest. Uh, that ends this Sunday at midnight. Uh, so if you want to get your uh, videos in, you have a few more days to do that. Uh, looking forward to that contest. So for today's mail day, it's Boggs related. I don't have any uh, vintage PSAs that came in, but this mail day is a little bit special. Uh, there are a couple cards that I got, but there's also a new piece of memorabilia, so to speak, uh, to add to my collection that has a little bit of a family tie or connection to it, which is why I, I picked it up. So I won't uh, waste a lot of time here uh, with the intro. Let's turn the camera around and I'll show off some of the Boggs cards I got and the newest memorabilia addition to my collection. All right, uh, I'm gonna start with the cards first. And in a, I'm not sure if it was the last mail day video I did, but I said I, that I bought a, a 2020 Allen and Ginter mini, uh, base mini, and the seller ended up sending me an Allen Ginter back, uh, which I had also picked up at that same time, so I had a duplicate. Um, wasn't that big of a deal. I think I paid $1.50 for it or somewhere around there, including shipping. Um, so I ended up getting the base mini uh, as well. Uh, this time got the right base mini. And again, like dollar fifty, something like that, free shipping. So, not bad. But now, I finally, have um, the base, the Allen and Ginter. I have the gold border, and now I have the black border as well. Um, I have one more mini uh, coming in that'll be featured in another uh, mail day. But uh, there's the black mini, and it has the same back as the base. So I got those two. Then for 2020 Tops Archives, I picked up the mini version. I'm not sure what the odds are. I'd have to, to check it out, but uh, you don't see too many of these. At least I haven't seen too many pulled in any YouTube videos. But here's as a comparison, here is the normal size. And you can see it's, yeah, it's, I don't know. 75% or whatever of the card size, but uh, picked up the mini version. And then finally, this is from 2005, Absolute Memorabilia. And again, if you've been watching some of my older videos, you know that uh, in 2004, but especially 2005, um, there were a ton of different Boggs cards, and it was because there were some sets that had a ton of different parallels. This is one of those sets. Absolute, absolute memorabilia had so many different parallel versions and uh, um, different cards with Boggs featured with other players or by himself or this and that. And uh, so here's one called a Team Quads, and it features Roger Clemens. Wade Boggs, of course. And on the back, Carlton Fisk and Noma Gassiapera. Serial numbered out of 100. This is the Spectrum version. I think the base version, I want to say, is that a 250? Something like that. Um, for Team Quads, but you can see the, uh, the shine there. It's called Spectrum. And... Uh, out of 100. So I think he has, Boggs has one other card with other Red Sox teammates and then one with the Yankees, I think. Um, but didn't have any of the Spectrum versions, so I was able to pick this one up. All right, that's it for the cards. Now for the, uh, for me, an exciting piece of memorabilia. I don't normally go after these. In fact, my buddy Rich um, he's the one that it, you know really gets some of these um, items for his collection. It's a press photo. Um, 
And, you know, some of them are some candid shots here or there, maybe made it into a newspaper, maybe didn't make the cut, uh, but are in the archives of the newspaper. This one is from the Boston Herald ar archives, and it has a, an official hologram of Boston Herald. And it's a photo here of Wade Boggs, okay, at an autograph signing. Uh, looks like there's uh, Jim Rice in the background there, and I believe that's also Marty Barrett. But while it's a really interesting photo in itself because of Boggs' reaction, he's signing for a kid. Um, you can see they're signing of 87 Boston Red Sox, sort of a team poster. Um, but what got my interest is the description and the location that this picture was taken at. It says on the back here, the photographer was a Ted Fitzgerald. Okay. The date was January 29th, 1987. Photo shows Wade Boggs shakes hands with Danny Heenan, seven of Easton Mass. But what got me was where the, the subject, Red Sox signing autographs at Filene's. Now, Filene's is a, or was, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's still, if it's still around or not, but Filene's was a, a pretty popular department store. And their main location was in Boston. And I think they had another, at least one other location, and that was in Worcester, Mass. And one of the reasons why I'm, you know, a Red Sox fan and a Wade Boggs fan is my mom's originally from Massachusetts, I grew up there, and she used to tell me stories of, now she would go to more often the Worcester filings, but she did go to the Boston uh, main filings department store, and she would tell would tell me stories of these sales. They'd have these big sales maybe a couple times during the year, um, I, maybe once a year. I, I'm not sure. But um, I guess to get to Filene's, at least maybe for one area, you had to go down some really steep steps. And she was there where, I mean, there would be crowds. It was almost like the precursor to Black Friday. There would be a huge crowd by the door ready for these big Filene sales, all right? And the doors would open and people would just, you know, some would even fall down the stuff. It was a mad rush to get down to these Filene sales. And again, my mom would tell me these stories. In fact, one particular story is of uh, a friend of hers from back home. She had gone to one of the Filene sales. I'm not sure if it was in, in Boston or in Worcester. And she was so excited. She came back and said, look at these pair of shoes I got at, at Filene's. I got a great deal. I forget what they were at the time. Um, probably, you know, a couple dollars. But back in the maybe mid-60s, um, that was still a bargain and stuff. But, you know, and she took them out of the box. And in her rush to just find a pair of shoes, she either picked up two left foot shoes or two right foot shoes, but she didn't have a pair. <laughs> and just in the mad rush, there would be people fighting over, you know, there'd be bins of different clothes and different things. And it'd be, it would, it's the precursor to, to Black Friday. So I, when my mom would see this stuff about Black Friday, she'd always tell the story of Filene. So long story short, when I saw that this picture was taken in Filene's department store, um, had bogs in it, signing an autograph, great expression. Um, I had to, to pick it up. So uh, again, don't normally go for these press photos, um, but they're an interesting piece. Uh, I'm not sure, I'm probably gonna frame it, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the back. I, I'd like to be able to have that back. Um, I don't know, it's just taped there. I, I may be able to remove it and frame it in search of, such a way that uh, I can have it on the front here or something, but I'll figure out something to do with this. But uh, there you go. My interesting, hopefully, interesting mail day of a piece of memorabilia that I have now added to 
my Wade Boggs collection. So that's it for now. Again, as a reminder, you have a few more days to enter the 250 subscriber contest. Uh, I'm still getting some new subscribers, uh, maybe because of the contest or whatever. Appreciate again all those new subscribers to my channel and all those who take the time to watch the videos that I post. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank <music> you.